Nude lipsticks are so hard to find, especially great drugstore versions under $10. They're usually too dark, too brown, too pink, or make you look like a ghost because they match your skin perfectly, which is not very flattering. Hey everybody, I'm Sarah from The Style Blog, and to me, a nude lipstick means my lips, but even better. It means that it's a pinky nude color that will make my lips look even, supple, and smooth. So the first one that I reach for most often is this CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lipstick in Sultry Sienna. This lipstick retails for $5.50. This is a medium pink nude with a slight sheen. It's very creamy. It has great color payoff. It doesn't smear or slide easily, and it gives the perfect amount of satiny sheen. This usually stays put on me all day and fades very evenly. I do have to mention the smell on each of these formulas. This smells very waxy with a hint of vanilla sweetness such as cake batter or icing. I would give this smell a 4 out of 10. Alright, so the nude drugstore lipstick I reach for next most often is this L'Oreal Paris Color Riche Lipstick in Ferris Nude. This lipstick retails for $6.00. This is a medium pink nude with a slight sheen and gorgeous gold packaging. It is also very creamy with awesome color payoff. It doesn't smear or slide easily and it gives the perfect amount of satiny sheen. I have to mention that the smell on this one is my least favorite of the bunch. It smells very waxy with a hint of overly sweet floral. I would give this scent a 2 out of 10. This does stay put on me all day long with minimal fading, and when it does fade, it fades very evenly and looks natural. Okay, the drugstore nude lipstick I reach for next most often is this Physician's Formula Healthy Velvet Lip in All Natural Nude. This lipstick retails for $8.50. This pointed applicator makes applying this formula very easy. It always looks like I use a lip liner to get the perfect effect, but it's all in the applicator on this one. This is a medium pink nude with a velvety satin finish. It feels very comfortable and nourishing on your lips. It doesn't slide or come off very easily. It's very creamy and has exceptional color payoff. Honestly, I can hardly detect a scent on this one. It has the tiniest hint of a sweet cake batter, but I give this smell a 7 out of 10. Alright, the drugstore lipstick I reach for next most often is this ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in Appy. This lipstick retails for $8. This is the most peachy formula of the bunch. It is a peach pink beige nude with a satin finish. This formula is so long lasting on my lips. It barely fades and when it does it looks very natural. This formula is my lips but better plus a little bit of peach. And I have to mention the smell on this one is non-existent so I give it a 10 out of 10 on smell. It is so pleasant. Guys, my lips may or may not be, but definitely are almost falling off and super red at this point. But I'm committed to getting all the swatches for you guys, so I'm going to keep going. Ah! And lastly, this lipstick is fairly new to me. However, I have been loving it. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Peach Buff. This lipstick is $8. It is a soft pink, and it is the pinkest nude of the entire bunch. This is if you want your lips but better, plus a little bit of pink. All of this lipstick does have a satiny finish like the others. It does tend to wear down to almost a powdery finish within a couple of hours, which I actually really enjoy. And I have to say that the smell is a barely there sweetness, so I give it a 7 out of 10 on smell. I do notice that this formula tends to settle in my fine lines on my lips after a while. However, once I blot my lips, it simply goes away. If you are looking for a great, affordable nude lipstick and you have light to medium skin tone, look no further than these five awesome formulas. I have a great video up next for you guys, so I actually applied a $70 mascara to one of my eyes and a $5 mascara to the other eye. Can you tell which one is which? To find out which one is on which eye and to see if the $70 mascara is actually worth the high price tag, check out this video I'm going to link for you right up here and I can't wait to see you there. Bye guys.